Hello everybody, welcome back and thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so really quickly, one, you guys have been so awesome in your last, uh, my last video, the comments, you guys are super excited, just as excited as I am to get my new laser machine. Do I have it yet? No, um, I cannot believe the amount of paperwork and red tape that you have to go through in order for Customs Canada to release that flipping machine over into my paws. Um, it, it's been a ridiculous ordeal. I still don't have it. I still don't know what's going on with it. Uh, I'm working on it. Aeon is working on it with UPS and Customs. I'm hoping I'll get it by the end of this week. I mean, I'm recording this on Tuesday. You're watching it on Wednesday. Um, you know, Friday's a holiday. It's Easter, you know, Easter long weekend. So I don't know what's going on. Like, I mean, it's here. It's in Toronto sitting at customs. They just need to let it go. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Um, so I don't have it yet. Um, yeah, but I'm still super excited and I've gotten a ton of emails, so many emails um, from people, um, from you viewers who are wanting to order wood rounds when I get it up, set up and running and I'm ready for receiving orders. So if you still are interested in wood rounds, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out my last video. I talk about the wood pieces there. Um, so yeah, if you want to put yourself on the mailing list, for wood rounds or any other wood cutouts, uh, email me at canelosoraco at gmail.com. Okay, classes. I, I have classes happening everywhere. So I am shortly in about a month and a half or so heading to Asheville, North Carolina. I am doing fluid art experience. I will be there with about five, six other YouTubers it is happening May 23rd to the 25th. If you want information and you want to come, it's a three-day event. You can choose one or up to six classes to take. There's a bunch of stuff I'm going to be teaching. Um, you can go to the website fluidartexperience.com, okay? And you'll get all the information and you can sign up for whatever classes you want with whatever um, of us artists that are going to be teaching, you know, check it out. If you don't want to come to Asheville, North Carolina, and you live in the Florida area, I will be in Fort Myers, Florida, July 13th and 14th, and I will be teaching classes. It's a two-day event, and I will be teaching with Kathleen from Cause Creations. So if you want to come to that event and you want information on that event, you can email Kathleen and I at uh, fluidartwithfriendsflorida at gmail.com and we shall send you info there. Uh, and lastly, I did mention in my last video, I will be doing classes here in my home studio, right here on this table, right here. I'm gonna have you guys come into my home, into my studio and learn with me. I live in London, Ontario, okay? Um, so if you wanna come and learn with me here, I'm likely going to be doing classes April 27th and 28th. That is a Saturday and a Sunday, uh, 27th and 28th of April. I do not have a syllabus yet. I am working on it. However, if you are interested in attending or want more information, you can email me, canelosiraco at gmail.com, and I will put you on the mailing list. And then once I have everything written out in the syllabus and you know what classes I'm teaching and when and what time and how much, I shall email you all who are on the mailing list and you will get that information. So keep those dates in mind. If you want to come to London, Ontario and learn with me in a small intimate setting because I can only do five people at a time, all right? So it's a first come first serve basis. Um, you know, your spot is secured with your deposit and then you have a spot here in my studio, all right? so. Really quickly, I wanted to show you guys the resined results of two of my latest blooms. Um, this one, don't mind the glare, but this one is so pretty. I tell you, once these things get resined, they shimmer and shine like crazy. 
I'm so happy with how this turned out. It's such a soft lilac-y color, you know? So this is on a 14 by 14 inch canvas. All right, trying to get that glare in there so you guys can see the shimmer. So there's that. Let's put it here so I don't damage it. And then this beauty, I love this too. Look how this, look at that gold. Oh my goodness, this turned out so amazing. And the resin finish is flawless. I love my crystal resin. Speaking of crystal resin, there is a big sale coming up in April and it is a brand new product, okay? Um, I won't say anything else, but stay tuned for a massive sale coming up with crystal resin. But look at that, isn't that pretty? So both pieces are 14 by 14 inch and they are both available for purchase. If you are interested in either of these pieces or both, you can email me, you know the email. All right, where shall I put this so I don't destroy it? Over here. Okay, so yeah, still waiting on my machine. I'm getting some other goodies that are gonna go into my garage workshop. I can't wait, my parents are coming up this weekend. My dad is going to build me a workbench. And for those of you who were asking, because some of you did ask, um, yes, I will record my father helping and building that uh, workspace for me in the garage. So at some point you guys are gonna get, um, you know, oh, I just found a goober in my paint. Hold on, I gotta get it before I lose it. Um, so yeah, you guys will get to see my father making some cool stuff for me for my new workspace in the garage. All right, let's get started. Yeah, I think that's all I had to mention. You know, heaven forbid I talk and talk and talk because, you know, that really pisses some people people off. <laughs> oh, you know, someone commented in my last video and said, I love your attitude. I love your no, you know, I'm not going to swear, but your no whatever attitude. You call it as you see it. And, and that's me. That is so me. That is my character. I'm not this frou-frou type. Oh, hello, everybody. I'm not, I'm not that. That's not me. Um, never have been, never will be. This is what you get. Uh, blunt, honest, straightforward, Greek attitude. That is me. <laughs> so I don't sugarcoat things. I, I don't. Um, I don't see the point in that. Uh, you guys are going to love me for either who I am or, or not. And this is me. And you guys love me. And I love you back. <laughs> <laughs> so anywho, I thought that comment was super hilarious. I can't remember who, who wrote it, so I'm sorry. But um, you were on point with your comment because that's exactly how I am. I don't take poop from anybody. I don't. Um, okay, let's paint. Let's have some fun. Okay, so um, in my last video, I showed you guys Jessica Winterstrom's um, spinner, which I love. And I'm going to be using both Jessica's and Erica's, you know, I'll, I'll switch them up to whenever, whatever, depending on the size of canvas I'm using, that will determine um, which uh, spinner I will be using. So uh, in this case here, I'll show you guys, this is er uh, Erica's spinner, Erica Hughes. Um, so her spinner is lower to the ground, uh, spins quite nicely. I did wrap my legs with some saran wrap or plastic wrap or cling wrap, whatever you guys want to call it. But I stupidly, by accident, when I took it apart last time I used it, I uh, put one of the legs, I put the legs on the, on the round part and I didn't realize there was paint underneath one of the legs and I got it on my spinner and I'm so disappointed. I'm so angry at myself because it doesn't come off. Um, that's the only um, downfall. One of the downfalls with this is um, because it's like an MDF or a hardboard type of material. If you get paint on it, it is not coming off. Um, if you get paint on your uh, Jessica spinner, uh, that will wipe off easily. So which I that happened to me in my last video, I got paint on it, wiped it off with a wet paper towel and it was clean as a whistle. But this um, I could not wipe off. So I'm pretty bummed about that because you guys all know me. I like everything to be super clean. Um, but yeah, so this is this is Erica's spinner. 
and um, these legs all come off like a puzzle piece so that you can take all the pieces off um, and then you um, can put it away. So I do like that. And it's got six legs, which is kind of cool. Uh, all right, and again, you can find the info for Jessica and Erica's spinners um, in the description below my video. I love to put my Loli Veffy mat on all my spinners because A, I like to keep my spinner clean, but also because I feel like with the silicone mat, it actually keeps the spinner in place. Um, it doesn't move. Um, Erica's spinner also comes with, I can't reach it. Hold on. Ugh. Erica's spinner also comes with these little extra pieces like this, and you can use them to put them on the end of your canvas like this as a blocker so that it doesn't go flying off. So when you're spinning it, you know, if you butt it up against the, the um, canvas here, it doesn't go anywhere, right? So you get six of these as well, but I don't really use them um, because my silicone mat keeps my canvas in place. Now, this is a, a bizarre canvas. It's an eight by 24 inch. Um, I've had this sitting in my closet. I have like five of these. They've been sitting in my closet for like, whoo, three years now. Um, they're from Windsor and Newton. Um, they're not from Michaels. They are, like I said, eight by 24 inch. Michaels does not sell eight by 24 inch. And so I had bought these from Desserts in Quebec, I believe. But anywho, um, yeah, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna use them today. I'm gonna use it today. So the color I'm using today is called Charming Pink. It is from color to go and I get this at Sherwin-Williams. Okay, let me show you Charming Pink. It is a light baby pink color, okay? And um, it is on the thick side, so I did um, thin it down with American Flood Floetrol. I talk about this in my last video, okay? I just added, I don't know, I, I did um, 10 ounces of paint and then five ounces of uh, Floetrol. Um, but again, I don't measure this. I just kind of added some Floetrol just to thin it out. Um, there's the sample color. I don't know if you can see that, but anywho. So that is my base paint. And then my colors, I'm going with like a pinky theme today, as you can see. Uh, and my thought is to do two blooms, one here, one here, blow them out, spin it, leave some negative space and see what happens. So the colors I'm using, and again, if you want to know what I use, how I use it, how I mix it, the products, the ratios, all of that, go to video number 504. Okay, video 504 is a full, full detailed tutorial on the bloom technique, okay? So we are using Twilight by TLP. Then I have Ore, which is a beautiful gold, again by TLP. Then I have Permanent uh, Red Violet by Amsterdam. Then I have Violet Rain. I'm gonna give these a mix. So Violet Rain, TLP. And then we have Flamingle. This is so bright. This is Flamingle, TLP. And then topping it off, I've got one of my absolute favorite TLP colors. It is Sangria, okay? So you wanna know where to buy TLP products? Those are the this little piggy products. It is from Fluid Art Co. The website is in the description below. Um, and you can shop you can get your Australian Floetrol, you can get your Joe Sonia Varnish, everything you need, um, you can get from the Fluid Arco website. Okay. Ah! Okay. I'm going to put my gloves on because the balloon technique is quite messy. And let's get started. I'm excited to see. So I'm going to do something different today. So as I mentioned, I'm going to do two blooms here. But if you've been watching my last couple of videos, I take my hair dryer and I blow it out. But what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna take 
the nozzle off and I'm going to, oh, with my cell activator, what am I using? White, no, I'm gonna do dark. I don't know why, but I seem to love the dark cell activator. I, this may be a mistake, but I'm gonna do the Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray cell activator. I need, oops, I need to give this a really good shake. Uh, I am gonna do dark, right? Yeah, because these are kind of dark colors on a on a light background. Okay, so cell activator again, Payne's Gray by Amsterdam mixed with Australian Floetrol. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow down into the cell activator so that it disperses it. And then I'm gonna put this back on super quick and blow out my, my flower. I'm gonna try that today. That is what I'm going to try. I've never done it before, but I've seen other YouTubers, um, you know, when they're doing their bloom, um, that's what they're doing. They don't have an attachment on their um, hair dryer, like Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Um, she doesn't have an attachment. Um, who else have I seen? I did save a little here in the cup for, you know, doing my sides. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I want to try it that way. I can't remember. Jeez, I can't really think. Um, but I have seen a few, a few other YouTubers who, you know, are experts on the bloom technique do use their hair dryer without the attachment. So I'm going to give that a whirl and see what happens because, you know, I'm still new at this bloom technique. I'm by, by no means am I an expert at the bloom. Can I say I'm an expert at my blowouts? Absolutely. Am I, not, am, I not, ugh, am I an expert with blooms? Not quite yet. I'd like to think I'm, I'm doing okay, but I'm by far no expert. So this is all trial and error for me. So we'll see how that goes. All right, and if it doesn't work out, then next time I won't do it. All right. You know what? <laughs> I probably shouldn't have put that painting right next to my garbage can. That was pretty silly, Canela. Okay, so I'm gonna just spin her a little bit. There we go. Just kind of get the paint flowing there a little. Okay, so I'm gonna do, no, I'm gonna pop my bubbles because I see bubbles. Pop bubbles really quick. Try not to torch the house paint too much because, you know, I hear it's not good for you, but it needs to be done because there's a lot of boobles, okay? So, let's start. So, I'm going to do a puddle here and a puddle here, I guess. So, all right. Mm, this is a little thick. I probably should thin it out with a little Joe Sonia. Maybe, maybe not. All right, so while I'm doing this, I don't know, what can I talk to you guys about? Well, I'm super stoked about my new machine. Uh, like I said, I'm getting some other things too in order to set up my new workspace in the garage. I'm getting some other machines as well that I need or that will be super helpful with my new laser you know, uh, Bear Woods, they are the company who give, uh, who I get the sculpted panels from, or the clock kits that you guys have seen me made the, make the clocks. Um, I get those from Bear Woods and they um, have sent me a really awesome um, rotary tool with a bunch of attachments to it and that'll be used for sanding, carving, etching out my wood pieces. So I'm super excited about that. I'm like really excited to dive into this new adventure. Like I said, a lot of you have already emailed me and asked me to put you guys on the mailing list for, you know, wood rounds as soon as I am up and running. 
and I can start cutting. And I'm really glad the weather is finally starting to turn and spring is here, although today it is absolutely pouring outside. It is so rainy. I walked the dogs this morning and they came back soaking wet, which I hate because, you know, the smell of wet dog is gross. You know, I love my boys, but ugh, wet dog smell, so yucky. But yeah, it is pouring out today, but the weather is starting to get better, which means working in the garage will be bearable. So I'm really excited about that. This weekend is Easter. Ah, um, not my Easter, I'm Orthodox. So Greek Orthodox, the, our Easter is actually May 5th. So our Easter is not for a while, but um, for those celebrating Easter this weekend, I hope it's a good one. All right, so just popping some boogles. The colors are down. Let me get rid of that. Okay. Um, I'm going to do one at a time. So I'll do this one first. Uh, I'll take this off. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see what happens with my new thought. So I'm going to put my black cell activator. That might be a lot, but we'll see. Okay, so that really wasn't a good idea. I didn't like that. So I'm not gonna do that on this one. Um, I felt like I didn't have control over where that was blowing. So I won't do that on this one. I don't know what the heck happened here, but I didn't do my nice, beautiful flower pattern. Oh, I'm so disappointed with how I blew that out. I think because I went this way and then down instead of all the way around, I totally messed that up. I'm going to blow this a little bit more. super bummed at how I did that. Not the way I planned for that to go, but it's okay because I'm going to spin it and hopefully fix it. So while I was doing that, this sucked in quite nicely. Very, very nicely. So I'm loving the way this looks. And I'm going to give this a minute. I'm not happy with all this black over here. So I'm hoping that gets pushed off as I spin. Uh, the rest of it is nice. Where's my straw? Oh, here it is. I'm just going to blow in the center just to kind of get, see if I get a few more cells in the center before I start spinning this puppy out. I'm kind of slowly blowing some of the color into the center. There we go, just to kind of minimize the black center there. Okay, 
I'm gonna get my stuff out of the way because I don't need my hair dryer anymore. Okay. I'm loving the colors. Okay, spinner. This isn't level. This isn't centered, I mean. Okay. I have a feeling this is gonna make a big mess. Oh, we're making a mess. Okay. Wow. I'm glad that this isn't closing up because I definitely wanted the negative space. I'm not liking um, this black corner. I don't. Um, worst case, I think I can kind of scrape that off and just add some pink. Um, I'm going to tilt this a little bit because I want this to come down. Ooh. I don't know. Let me spin it the other way. Oy, oy, oy. Okay, let's spin it again. I'm so happy with this and I'm like, eh, with this. I'm not super happy with that, but let's keep playing with it. Oh my gosh, look at this. And this. Center the canvas. Uh, this way. Okay, so that spin was good because it brought this down. <gasps> I love this! Oh my gosh, this is so pretty! I, what I don't like is what, what's happening here though. I hate that. This is what happens when you don't have enough paint on the side for it to flow down. And I hate that. This is why I say it's so important that your edges are, I don't even know how to fix that without screwing up the side. <laughs> That's why it's so important that your canvas on the side is really wet because it just doesn't flow nicely down the side when it's not wet. I say this with my regular blowouts too. The paint will stop dead in its tracks and it's not going to look good, which is the problem I'm having here. So I'm gonna add some paint over here. And I need a lot of paint over here, coming down the side. There we go. Dab, never rub, only dab, okay? Okay, that side is so much better. <gasps> ah! oh, shoot. Okay. What's going on over here? Yeah, this every every side is perfect except for this one side here. I'll show you guys. Like, look how horrible that looks. That looks really crappy. Um, I do not like that. I'm not happy with that. And then I'm just not really sure how I can fix it. I think I'm just gonna add a bunch of pink on the side and spin it one more time and hope that I get some coverage because I don't know what else to do. If I dab it, it's gonna look so bad. So, this might be one side that is not perfect, but I'm gonna spin it one more time. Oi. Let me wipe some of this off. Gosh, I love the feeling of paint on my fingers. With gloves, with gloves. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, it looks like not very good. I I want to say what I want to say, but I'm not going to. And the thing is you can't even blow it because the paint is so thick. 
Oh, I'm so disappointed with that one side. But the rest of it I love. Um, I like this side better than this side. I wonder, oh gosh, I'm gonna get my apron all dirty. Oh, that was kind of nice actually, just kind of adding a little oomph to that part there. Okay, one final spin and I'm done. And whatever it is, it is on the sides. Can't, can't do anything about it. So. Well, it's definitely flowing along the sides now. So that's really good. The problem with thick paint is along the sides, it could leave like a wave, especially if you keep spinning and there's not enough paint to go all the way down the bottom of the, you know, one half inch, you know, side. Um, so that can happen. It happened on my light lilac piece, but um, it is what it is. Let's hope it just continues to flow down and kind of, you know, fix itself. But for now, I'm actually really liking the way this turned out. I'm looking at it with the light on the side with my studio light and the shimmer is insane. Now I do see an air bubble. Actually, I'm gonna pop my air bubbles with my torch. Um, I love the fact that this did not meet and I do have the negative space. That is what I was going for, so yay me. I did manage that. I just wish I would have blown this side out better because it does have a lot more black in it, but I'm okay with it. I am okay with it. I, I'm really liking it. So let me pop any bubbles. Okay, super quick. And then if I see, I don't think, I, I thought I saw a big one somewhere, but I could be wrong. Oh, my nose is itchy. Not the time for that. Wow, it's so pretty. I See, I thought I saw a big bubble. There we go. Gosh, it is pouring rain outside. Just listening to it coming down is depressing. Then again, it could be worse. Could be snowing. Shh, don't say the S word. Okay some bubbles. Okay, I love it, I'm done. <laughs> what a mess. Do you see now why I cover my legs in plastic? Because now I can just wipe it off. And uh, let's see, I did put some little cups here because I'm gonna pick up the canvas and put it um, at the side of my table because I want to be able to pick up my silicone mat. Um, so in terms of cleaning, what I do is I'll take the canvas, put it aside on, rest it on some cups, and then I will take my um, Loli Veffy scraper and I will scrape the mat off, scrape all the paint off the table into a big puddle. Now, if your table is already clean, you could scrape it all up, put it in a cup and use it for something else. My table is filthy. Um, I've got bits and pieces of resin and all kinds of stuff on it. So I'm not going to reuse the paint that I scrape up. Uh, it's just not happening. So, but you can do that if you choose to do so. Um, but I like to scrape it all up, put it in a cup and chuck it in the garbage. Do not put paint down the sink. Don't do it, okay? Do not do it. Okay, so I'm going to clean up and then I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. Alrighty, so I have taken it off the spinner, put it on some cups. Um, I'll show you guys the close up in a second, but let me just show you. So I, like I said, I took my Loli Veffy scraper. I scraped off the mat. I scraped off the table. 
I took the legs off. I'm probably gonna replace the plastic. It's been like a year, but this is what I was trying to tell you. So I accidentally got paint on the spinner the last time I used it and um, it doesn't come off. So I'm really bummed about that. Um, that really sucks. I could probably try and sand it off, but it is what it is. All right, let's get to this close up. And of course I'm gonna turn the lights off and because it's a cloudy rainy day, it'll be super dark in here when I turn the flash on. But uh, you know, you'll see it with the flash on, but one of the TLPs I used, which is likely Flamingle, has a green sparkle to it, which I didn't know. Um, so it kind of makes this a little rainbow-ish. But um, the sides here are doing okay. And I think it was the other side where I was having the issue. So let me show you. So that side's fine. And then this side is where, you know, I tried to fix. It definitely looks way much better. Uh, way much better? Does that even make sense? It definitely looks way better or much better. But yeah, um, that's what happens when you have super thick paint. All right, let me turn the flash on. All right, so the lights are off, the flash is on, and I can't go too close because my camera will change colors on me. Um, but you can see here there's some green, and I'm pretty sure that's the flamingo. See, my camera's changing colors. I wonder if I go super close. So that's the flamingo. So if I do this again, I may take the flamingo out but I actually do like it in this piece. But if you do not want like a green hue, then definitely don't put Flamingo in there. I'm pretty sure this is from Flamingo. Look at that though. I love it. I love the center. It's always my favorite part. It's just so sparkly. And I tell you, when this gets a top coat of crystal resin, it's going to be on fire. Wow, this is pretty. So many cells, so much lacing, and so much sparkle. I love, woo, look at that, whoa. I love these TLP piggies. I love my piggies. I can't stop staring at it. Now I'm overdoing it. I know you guys, I know. It's just really pretty though. Okay, 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 let's get back. So there you have it, my friends. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. As I mentioned, it's an eight by 24 inch canvas. If anyone is interested in this piece, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. I love it. I think orientation wise, I would hang it upright like this, right? Vertically. I think it looks good. When this gets resin, oh my goodness, I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like. But um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on the machine debacle. Hopefully I get it before the Easter long weekend. Um, information on Asheville, North Carolina, Florida, Fort Myers in the description below. Click on the links, email us for information. Um, what else? Uh, classes here in London, Ontario, uh, likely to be April 27th and 28th. Email me, canelasiraco at gmail.com for information and to be put on my mailing list. And yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.